lighting in my bathroom. Well, it's good lighting in here, and it brings out my true skin color and my fat. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, it's going to be a short review. I'm not good at this yet. So kids in this movie, great acting. Obviously, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga have excellent chemistry yet again. The story is really good. If you're wanting to know, do you think that this is better than the first Conjuring? I will say no. That sequels don't have to be better than the original. Just be as good. Is it as good? Here's the Conjuring and here's the Conjuring 2 for me. Like it is, like it's close. Is it as scary? No, but it makes up for it by good storytelling and filmmaking and cinematography and all that. There, there's some scary stuff in here. There are a couple of jump scares, but only one of them got me because you're thinking, oh, that thing's going to pop up here, but it actually pops up, you know, back here. It's really, really good. Um, there, there is no quote unquote villain or main demon. Kind of thing like how Insidious had the uh, the bride in black that kind of a thing. There is an element of that, but it's not the forefront. There is going to be some weird looking CG in this movie. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but you've seen that thing in the first trailer where that thing just starts spinning and it's that projector thing starts spinning. That plays a part in the movie. And it will look really weirdly CG'd, but it's meant to because it's stop motion. At least that's what I got out of it. So yeah, the acting was great all the way around. Great story, great visuals. Guys, it's a great movie. I'm going to give The Conjuring 2 a 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching my review, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.